Apple products are everywhere, and now the company is hoping to become part of your doctor visits too. And they're targeting expecting mothers with the help of an app called Airstrip. What we are doing with Apple is really taking the first shot at connecting, in this case, with obstetrics. Expecting mothers will soon be able to use their Apple watches and iPhones to monitor their baby's heart rate at home using sensors. And what the Apple Watch and the iPhone is doing is really connecting to that sensor to be able to pick up that data using Bluetooth and send that data to the doctor directly. So now the doctors can look at that baby's heartbeat, the maternal contractions. If you press here, you can actually listen to the baby's heartbeat. That's amazing. Airstrip says because the Affordable Care Act, virtual care is not only needed, but it's the future of healthcare as we know it. Doctors can now communicate with multiple patients at once using their mobile devices. Dr. Peter Bernstein at Montefiore Medical Center says he already uses the app. Uh, I mean, the way we're using it at Montevideo is to enhance patient safety um, by allowing us to give second opinions to the doctors who are on the labor floor on the front line so that they're not practicing by themselves. Before Airstrip, doctors would either have to come into the hospital or have someone describe the tracings to them. So it's certainly much better if I can actually see the tracing, uh, and that's critical to taking optimal care of our patients. The app is also helping heart attack patients. Dr. Anna Bortnick uses it to make quick decisions in emergency situations. This app is especially useful when everyone's at home in the middle of the night. And we have to make a decision in about five minutes whether or not we're going to mobilize a whole team of doctors and nurses and technicians to come to the hospital and perform a procedure. So we can cut in some cases 30 minutes on the time to intervention, which is crucial when you have a heart attack. Though Bernstein says he's not ready to give up any face-to-face -face time just yet, he is open to the idea of more advancements. If these technologies help, these virtual technologies help us to be more efficient and effective at doing that, then I think that's a really good thing. I'm Jade Scipioni for FoxBusiness.com.